you a member of any church, Mr. Veneta? It's all right, Dave Crocker. You don't gotta hide nothing from me. Everybody deserves a second chance, right? I guess. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> That's some of bitches rotten in hell for God in heaven. Liar! But I ain't never been dumb enough to get caught. Why everybody's back the fuck off for a second? Jesus, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? I have a feeling we're not in California anymore. Get out! Get down! You're as bad as a fucking dog, Dad. It's just fireworks. July, old man. Tired. Yeah, but I just thought, you know, first night in our new house. Didn't you say the movers were coming first thing in the morning? Maybe tomorrow night. Okay. They're coming after me, Vincent. I just know it. One day when I least expect it. Would you shut the fuck up? Can't you see I'm working here? Fucking beautiful. 
Where the hell have you been? I told you I was taking care of Mama. We're paying the hospital to take care of your mom. You're supposed to be here taking care of me. Now hand me my refills. It's ready to be picked up as soon as I receive final payment. Restores truly vintage Vinny. <sighs> Looks candy coated. Hey, don't touch. Paint's not dry. Go ahead, open her up. Just use the fucking handle. It's hollow. D didn't you just say it was ready to be picked up? Yeah, well, that's what I said. I need the cash for a down payment on the building I'm looking at in Kansas. Kansas? Why in the hell Kansas? Because I could never afford to buy a building in California the size of the one I'm looking at there. Come here, check it out. Ain't she dope? It's all mine for 100 G's. <laughs> you ain't never gonna afford $100,000. Fuck, I ain't. <clears throat> Business been taking off ever since I got clean. What about your side business? Well, I'm giving that up, too. You know, dealing days are done. You're gonna piss off a lot of people. Well, what's new? Been pissing people off my whole life. You don't gotta tell me that. You always were a little shit. No. I got folks across the country wanting me to restore their stoves. Shipping will be a hell of a lot cheaper if I'm located smack the fuck dab in the middle of America. Oh, well, where does that leave me? On your own, old man. You've been wanting me to get out of here since I was a kid. That ain't true. You, you got a roof over your head, you got a place to sleep, you're lucky you had me. Nobody else put up with your shit. Yeah, I really hit the jackpot with you, old man. You'll be back. Your business is gonna go to hell, and so are you. You keep fucking over your customers like you've done that poor woman. Don't you think I know who to fuck over and who not to, huh? I mean, that rich bitch wanted the color of her stove to match this. Some people are willing to pay 15 grand for me to restore their precious stoves. People who got money for that kind of shit, they deserve to get fucked. Son of a bitch. David, the stove doesn't work. I've been trying for half an hour. That broker swore to us all the appliances worked. I'd really like to call right now and give her a piece of my mind. Carla. What was her name again? Uh, Mrs. Bettle. Barbara, please. Oh, hello, Barbara. Here, I brought you this. It's a housewarming gift. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I do it for all my clients. So, how do you like your new home? Oh, we love it, don't we, Carla? Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, I've got a million things to do. Will we see you this Sunday, David? Oh, yeah, of course. That's why I'm here. <laughs> that went well, wouldn't you say? You could have warned me. I just want to remind everyone we have a meet and greet potluck dinner today in the fellowship hall and I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. I'm so excited to be here and finally thank you so much for going out of your way to make me feel welcome. Pardon me, I mean I mean us welcome. I feel like one of those awkward award winners who forgets to thank his wife. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for that one later. <laughs> I, I mean not really but Pastor Collins. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Congratulations. Hi. Great, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Hi. Hi. You guys came to Kansas from California. Yeah. How come? 
Well, you guys made us an offer we couldn't refuse. We offered you the highest salary? I head up the appropriations committee and it wasn't for No, you. no, no, it wasn't about the money. Well, what was it about then? We wanted to raise our family in a small town with small town values. Family? Holy smokes, are you two? Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Lord. How far along? Not far. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Why'd you tell him that? That's all I could come up with. Besides, no one believes you when you lie. So what are we gonna do now? I guess I'm gonna get pregnant. Are you serious? It's green, David. <laughs> What is it, Marlena? I got a phone call from the hospital. My mom. I'm so sorry. I was just there. I always wait till you leave. gone. Oh, don't put those away yet. I haven't finished relining the shelves. I'm just trying to help. Well, get the stove fixed. That would help. I'm trying. There aren't too many people in the repair business these days. I mean. Well, let's just get a new one. Not until we see if this one can be fixed. Not everything can be fixed, David. You can be a deer and hold this for me. So far, fucking perfect. Cremation or traditional? Traditional. I would like to bury Mama in a beautiful casket, Marlena. I'll pay for it. You don't have to worry about the cost. Mi mamá me dijo que quería ser incinerada. Speak English, Marlena. It's rude. No problem. Estudiante de México para los años. You know what? Why don't I step outside for just a moment and let you two sort through a few things, okay? Day. I'll set you up with Mr. Schmidt at the credit union. You a member of any church, Mr. Veneta? Not at the moment, no. Well, you'll have to visit ours. We just got a new preacher. He's from California, too. Pasadena, I believe. Pasadena, nice. 
David Collins, you know him? California is a big state. Oh, I can't imagine. Anyway, I sold him and his wife a darling little place over on 11th and Poplar. He got it for peanuts. He must have made quite the profit between that house and what he got for his in California. Of course, his wife doesn't seem too happy about it. They never are. And this one is especially high strung. She threw a hissy fit just because the stove wouldn't work. Worked when I tried it, that's all I have to say. Where is Manuel? You know he can't get around because of his disability. Being fat and lazy isn't a disability. He has a good side. He let me take him, Mama, when she got sick. And charge her rent. I never spent the money. I put it in a saving account for Mama. We can split it if you want. Wayne provides for me. Why didn't he come? Some men work, you know. So do some women. Stop, Marlena. You always held this grudge against me because I made something of myself. Como casarte con un gringo rico. We are Americans too, Marlena. Sí, pero mi mamá estaba orgullosa de sus raíces. Como yo. ¿Y tú? I'm very proud of the choices I made. Barely spoke to me after I left the church. Porque la lastimaste, Elena. You had gotten over it. I did. Well, we'll cremate her. If you are sure that's what she wanted. Segura. Is there anything else that we need to do? Sí, hay una cosa más. hated that blue monstrosity. I was never so happy as the day is still working. Let's go. What kind of collateral do you have, besides a bunch of old stove parts? I mean, that, that's about it, but they're very valuable. We'd have to do an appraisal to determine that. Trust me, they are. Okay. But you don't have quite enough for the down payment either. I was just a little short. That won't cut it in this economy. And your credit history is terrible. But you must know that. Look, I've made some mistakes in the past, okay? But I'm really onto something here. Like, restoring these old stoves, I, I got more orders coming in than I can deal with. All I need is a decent place to hold my shit, you know? Excuse me, stuff. Okay, I can't afford anything anywhere else. Actually, to be really honest, you can't afford this either. Times are tough. It takes a lot to get a loan approved. I want that building. You gotta help me out here. I mean, come up with the rest of the down payment. That might help, but you can't do much about your credit history. Banks just aren't too willing to take a risk on people who have a history of defaulting on their payments. Look, I appreciate your entrepreneurial spirit. It's the American dream to start your own business, but I can't risk it. Won't. That's what you mean, right? Won't? If that's the way you want to put it, yes. Look, I'm sorry you had to fly all the way here. I assume you haven't moved to Hutchinson yet. No, I'm still living with my old man. In his house? I guess you could call it that. Perhaps he would co-sign. What's he got to do? Just sign something? There's a bit more to it than that. I mean, for one, he'd have to come in with you. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that'll never happen. Unless I drug him. Are you being serious? Because I don't find that very funny. Of course I'm not, all right? But I'm desperate here. I swear people in this town have never heard him calling her. Can I help you? Heard you have a stove needs fixing. Let me guess. Barbara Bettle. She's my broker. Who is it, Carla? I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, excuse me, uh, Randy Veneta, also known as Restoration Randy. Carla Collins, it's nice to meet you. You too. So, do you think you can fix it? Of course, yeah, no, I can, uh, I can fix anything. Question is, do I want to? So you won't fix it? I mean, I will, you really want me to, but... You know, I think I got a better idea. You guys got a, a great kitchen here, you know? You need a great stove. I got this bitchin' one I just finished back home. I want some color. Stainless steel ain't a color. My card. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I had this teacher in culinary class once. Refused to cook on anything made after 1960. Oh, you like to cook. I love it. I was going to school to be a chef. So, how much is this gonna cost me? Well, vintage stove, fully restored. Go up to 15, 20 grand. We can't afford that. But, I'm gonna cut you a real sweet deal. You're the new minister in town, right? I mean, everyone here goes to church. Look, you like my work, spread the word. Restoration Randy's in town. Your recommendation could mean a lot. But believe me, once you lay eyes on her, you're gonna fall in love. I feel anxious if I don't do anything. Is that okay? Of course. I just think it's important not to rush the grieving process, that's all. Really, I'm okay. Marlena, what can I do for you? Can you help me with something? Fucking fuck, Dad! Why would you do that? Because it was hers. I wasn't even finished with it, you know that! See, she said that you told her you were. Had sent the final payment and everything. Had been waiting a long time. She had some big guys with her and a truck. I wasn't about to open the door. I, I don't trust the kind of people that you deal with. She's yuppie scum from Santa Clarita, Dad. She's about as harmless as you can get. Well, now, they didn't look that harmless to me. If I were you, I would watch my back. You're really fucking me here, Pa. I needed that stove, you know. I needed that stove for a plan I was working on. I don't suppose you would uh, just co-sign on a loan for me? No, just, it's the bank, Dad. You just, just you to go in there. The only thing you gooks are getting from me is my, my name, my rank, and my serial number. It's the bank, Dad! It's just the, the fuck! Are you sure Amber won't mind? I wouldn't care if she did. She's the one who chose to go to college and leave me alone with him. Now, what kind of stove did you say it was? I don't know, old, from the 50s. One of the women my mother used to clean for, give it to her when she was remodeling for free. Okay, so let's Google vintage stove restores in Los Angeles. Google, what is Google? That, my dear, is magic. Oh, he's in the valley near you. Fabulous. And his stoves don't look bad either. <laughs> what is it about a man with a tattoo? I... Oh, right. We'll check out a few more because it's important to get more than one bid.
sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, it's okay, I didn't hear you. Uh, did you come alone? It's very heavy. Oh, don't worry about that. I brought the right equipment. I just need you to guide me. So, where's she hiding? Right behind you. Who's me? Oh my god, she's a beaut, huh? Almost hurt seeing her all in here all neglected and alone, huh? Can you make it like new again? I'm done with her. She'll be better than new. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, I know it's just a stove, but it used to be my mother's. She just passed away. That's gotta be hard. Can't imagine losing my old man. So how much do you want up front? All of it. All of it? Yeah, see, I got real burned on my last deal. Spent months restoring the stove and never ended up getting paid. That's terrible. Are you gonna sue them? No, it's not really my style. What goes around comes around, I always say. But unfortunately, it means that everyone else has to pay for their dishonesty. I just brought the half. And I know you don't accept personal checks, but if you want to meet me here tomorrow... Hey, don't worry about it. You can write me a check. You seem like an honest person. Say that about many people. Well, better get to work. It's hot in here, huh? Well, well, I guess we don't have to lie anymore. It's gonna be so good this time. You just feel it. Bunch of suckers tighten. It ain't going nowhere. See, if you use the right equipment, even a skinny guy like me can move something heavy. You're not a skinny. You're just right. Es una virgen de Guadalupe lo que tienes en la espalda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I dated this hot little Latina in high school. Thought for sure we'd get married. Then she broke my heart. I don't know, I've been thinking about getting it removed.
can't tell you how glad I am to be back in good old Hutch. It's good to have you back. Hey, sorry for all the time it took. Came home to a mess I had to deal with first. Oh, well, it was worth the wait. I absolutely love it. Another satisfied customer. That's what I like to hear. Something smells good. Can't tell you the last time I had a home-cooked meal. Hey, you wouldn't have a cerveza laying around, would you? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe a little vino? No, we don't drink alcohol. Catholics do. We follow the teachings of the Bible. <laughs> Ain't that what Catholics think they're doing? I have no idea what the Catholics believe. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's where religion loses me. Yeah, well, uh, the Church of Christ is not a religion. <laughs> you say so. There's something different about you. You're very observant. You lightened your hair. A little. You did? I like it. Thank you. I can't believe you noticed. Anything else? Nope, that was it. We're pregnant. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm pregnant. All right, well, congratulations, I guess. Better you than me. You don't want kids someday? No, I don't want to screw them up the way my pops did me. It's an opportunity to right his wrongs. Well, they're his wrongs to right, not mine. Oh, have a seat. Carl will get that. Thanks. Uh, I should probably get going anyways. I got an early meeting with the bank. Oh, yeah? How's that going? <sighs> Not so good. I think I picked a bad time to ask for a loan. Who are you meeting with? Uh, Mr. Schmidt? I'm blanking on his first name. Oh, Philip. You know, he's a member of our church, actually. I could probably call him and put in a good word for you. Why don't you go in with him, David? Yeah, or I could do that, too. Really? I mean, you wouldn't mind? He gave us a stove for nothing. Well, for nothing. You paid for the parts. After everything you've done for us, this is the least I could do for you. All right. Can you step outside for a moment, Randy? No, 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 no. I, I want Randy here. Sit down. I can't let you do this. I've been in the banking business my whole life, and Randy is too great a risk, especially in this economy. Does Carla know you're willing to co-sign for someone you've known for a little less than a month? She wants to help him just as much as I do. What are you getting out of this? I'm not doing it for that reason. Well, then you're naive. That isn't the way people do things. Friendship ends where business begins. I have faith in Randy. I've seen his work. If he helps half his clients as much as he's helped Carl and me, well, he's got quite a future. Well, it's official. Welcome to Kansas. Huh. Randy. You know what? Dad was a POW. Vietnam. His idea of bonding was putting me in solitary confinement for days on end. I'm so sorry, Randy. You'll make a great father, baby boy. You said you wanted to help him. By putting in a good word. Not co-signing on a $100,000 loan. We don't even know him. We know he needed our help. And if we weren't going to help him, who would? You should have seen his face today. He saw what Christ's love is capable of. And he's going to come around. I just know it. This wasn't a financial investment. This was an investment in his eternal salvation. And I thought, you'd be glad I did this. You just don't get it, do you? What? What don't I get? This is a marriage. We're supposed to make these decisions together. That's not what the Bible says, Carla, and you know it. I'll consult your opinion, but I make the final decision. But you didn't consult me, did you, David?
Hey, did you ever get your stove back? Not yet. You're kidding. Hasn't it been months? Four, but he told me to be patient. Bullshit. You call him. At least see how it's going. I will. Later. So, can I get you a tea or something before we begin? You're queer, right? This interview isn't about me. Guess that answers my question. Why don't we start? Not that I have a problem with the hell. I even like gays. I mean, as long as they keep them hands to themselves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so tell me, how's your experience been so far in Hutchinson? Fine, I guess. Still kind of pissed at my broker. Barbara Battle? I think she could have got the owner to come down a lot lower. I mean, the building's been on market for years. You've seen where it's at. It's like a ghost town over there. Only visitors I get are fucking junkies and meth heads looking to score. Oh, shit, I can't say fucking, can I? No, you're fine. Let's keep going. Shit, huh? It's all right, Davy Crockett. You ain't got to hide nothing from me. You're a man, after all. More than I can say for that fag at the paper. You know, LA is full of pretty young fags. I ain't never seen an old one. I guess this is where they come to die. He'll get his just due. <sighs> Goes around, comes around. Christians hate the gays, right? No. Of course not. You yeah, don't tell that to them. Look, Randy, this article, this could ruin your business around here. Fuck them. Most of my orders come from out of town anyways. That's a good picture, though, huh? I've seen all the improvements you've been doing. Well, you got a problem with me fixing up the place? Is it too much to ask that I, I work and live in a spot that ain't fucking butt ugly? You know, why don't you get my fucking back? What are you, my old man or something all of a sudden? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, uh, I'm not gonna fuck you over, okay? Stop worrying about it. Yeah. Why don't I show you around, huh? bumper of my car. Any idea who it could have been? Well, I do. That little rat-faced thug. I tell you, if I could prove it, I would... What do you want me to do? For starters, he's late again. This can't be packs. I understand that. I don't think you do. Because if I don't get something soon... Look, you will, all right? Don't worry. Uh, I'll see to it. Hey, guys. Have you seen Randy? Excuse me. Second floor. Randy! 
Yo! David boy, what are you doing here? Just came by to see if I could help you out. Yeah, why is that? Because I wanted to. Well, I got a crew. Is that what they are? They give you shit? A little. They didn't bother me too much. You know, I can take care of myself. No, don't piss them off too much. They've both done a hard time. Why'd you hire them? Yeah, well, everybody deserves a second chance, right? I guess. Yeah. All right, I tell you what, <clears throat> I got something you can do. I won't even get your little preacher hands too dirty. <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Pretty amazing. Getting there. What are you doing in my room? Oh, your mother told me that I can use your computer while you are at college. Whatever. I'm home now. Let's go puddling. Guess I could become a professional puddler if my congregation runs me out of town. <laughs> that way you left? You just run out? No, nothing quite that dramatic. You suck at life. Let me try that. All right, you don't gotta tell me. We had a baby. She died about a week after she was born. Carla kinda lost it for a while, you know? Questioned her faith, her marriage. She had an affair with one of the married members of our congregation. And when word got out, it got really ugly. Why didn't you leave her? Because everyone else did. Friends stopped talking to her, even her parents, too. Nobody took our side. Our side? You didn't do nothing wrong. Guilty by association, I guess. So how do you know it won't happen again? Because we're going to have another baby. Babies bring couples closer together. Bullshit. My folks thought having me would help their marriage. Only made it worse. Mom left when I was five. The bitch left me with a lunatic. May she rot in hell. Let me see here. Yeah, all right. Andy, what are you doing here? David's not here. He won't be back for a few hours. I'm sorry. Didn't come see David. Came by to see my baby. What? A restoration. Oh, that. Of course. So, how's she working? Well, I didn't want to bother you since you've been so busy. You bother me whenever you want. <sighs> well, the pilot light keeps going out on the oven. I mean, I've been lighting it with a match. But since you're here... No problem. I'll get my tools. There we go. Shouldn't give you any more problems. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Can I ask you a question? I don't know. It depends. 
Why'd you quit? Quit what? Cooking school. Well, I met David and other things became important. Like his needs. You don't mind me saying, you don't seem too happy. Well, I am. I don't believe you. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> well, I don't believe in truth. I believe in the lie behind it. Well, that's very sad. Hey, wait. You forgot this. Let's cut the bullshit, okay? What are you talking about? I'm talking about us. What's been going on since the moment we laid eyes on each other. St stop that. Glad to see you still got a little in you. Well, if you ever want to, uh, whatever. You gonna get ready for church? I don't feel good. Should I call the doctor? No, it's just morning sickness. Is this something I should be worried about? No, David, it's perfectly normal. What should I tell everyone? The truth. Don't worry, the women will understand. All right. Yeah. Really? Is that you? Who is this? Marlena Salguero. You got the wrong number. No, 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 no. I recognize your voice, Vinny. I, I know it's you. Look, lady, I don't know who you are, okay? I'm Marlena Salguero from the storage unit. Marlena! Of course! Shit, you know. I was hoping you would call me. Me call you? You told me not to. Yeah, you know, I uh, I had to move and I, I lost your number. I've just been sick about it. You moved? Why? Uh, you know, long story short, my, my old man, he kicked me out. Um, gave me a week, can you believe that? Uh, luckily, I, I found a great deal on this building in Kansas and I just, I had to jump on it. Kansas? My stove is in Kansas? Yes, yes, it is. And uh, it's amazing. You're gonna be, you're gonna be blown away. And uh, I I'm gonna ship it to you free of charge once the fucking kick plate gets in here. What is a kick plate? It's the, um, it's the part of the stove that attaches down by your feet. 
Yours is missing one. I don't remember that. You know, most people don't. They, they're always the first things to go. People remove them so they can clean under the stoves and... They never put them back on. I can't wait. Now that I know. I'm, I'm so, so sorry about that. Um, we're, we're cool though, right? I mean, you're not, you're not mad at me? Of course not. I just want my stove. Hey, you will have it. When? Uh, week, tops. Hey, hey Marlena. Just curious, uh, how did you find me? I Google you. Gotta love Google. David, the pilot light on the oven won't stay on. I knew this would happen. It's a day of all days. You have to call Randy. Now? Yes, now! He's not answering. Go over there. And hurry. Everyone's gonna be here, and I have to start the turkey. Where's Randy? On the roof. The roof? What's he doing on the roof? Fuck do we know? What are you doing? Praying? <laughs> Bad chance. Creating art. Won't you stay put? I want you fucking up my masterpiece. I have a favor to ask of you. Shoot. The pilot light still isn't working on our stove. Can you come by and take a look at it? Sure. Great, thank you. I really Tomorrow. have Tomorrow. What? No, 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 it has to be fixed today. We have a ton of people coming over for Thanksgiving. Yeah, why wasn't I invited? <laughs> Am I good enough? Of course you are. It's a whole bunch of friends from church. Oh, I get it. You don't want to be seen around somebody going to hell. Who said you're going to hell? You do. Because I ain't Christian. No man can judge another man's soul, tell them if they're saved or not. I don't know what's in your heart. I mean, word was Jeffrey Dahmer, he accepted Christ before he died in prison. See that mass murderer killed all them young boys? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's some bitches rotten in hell if there's a God in heaven. The only one who hurts a kid ain't worth no mercy. I can understand how you'd feel that way. <sighs> can you come by and look at the stove? In case you wasn't listening, I said I'd help you. It's gonna have to be tomorrow. Carla's gonna be really disappointed. That was your problem, not mine. You've got to be kidding me. He wasn't there. I can't believe this. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? <laughs> First thing Monday morning, I'm calling the thrift store. And I'm going to have them come pick up that piece of shit and we're getting a new stove. I'll think about it. No, David, you won't. It's my decision this time. Uh, 
Randy. Randy? I don't know any Randy. Uh, no, please, let go of my hand. You're hurting me. You're lying. You're reading about him on my computer. Oh, Minnie, Minnie. Randy is his name in Kansas. Fuck him! What? No. No. It's not what he said. I took that number off his article and I gave him a call. We did a lot of talking. What did he say? He said you had an affair before you went to Kansas. You're calling him over and over again, begging him to come back. No, 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 no. He's lying. We didn't have sex. We just... You're a whore! No, no, no! Starting a show. Barely. How are you feeling? About the baby or about us? I meant the baby. Of course you did. <sighs> Let's not get into it tonight, all right? I've had a really busy day. Too busy saving souls to save your marriage. That's my job. And if you remember, I'm the one that chose to save our marriage. I could have walked out. Staying in a marriage isn't saving it, David. I think we need to see someone. In this town? Are you crazy? <laughs> Everyone will find out. We will be fine. We're saved. It's the lost souls of the world that concern me. What are you doing? I'm getting in bed. I'm exhausted. I think you should leave. Your tension's affecting the baby. Where did you get this? Where did you get this? It's a going away present from the boys. Is it registered? I didn't ask. When you got shot, that boy was defending himself, wasn't he? Tell me the truth. Ya lo sabía, Manuel. You're not a hero. No! I'm leaving. If you try to follow me, I will kill you. I understand. I told you I would handle it. But you haven't. Have you? Now I'm going to give you one more chance and then I'm going to have to go to my branch manager. Don't worry. I'll go over there at lunchtime. Call me as soon as you've talked to him. Randy? Out here, dear. <laughs> what are you doing? Smoking. <laughs> Can't smoke inside. All them chemicals flammable as fuck. Is that marijuana? You want dope? You look like you need to relax. <laughs> Can we talk inside? Whatever you gotta say, you can say in front of my crew. Listen, the bank needs their money. You're three months behind in payments. If you don't make a payment soon, they're gonna come after me. Well, that's not very Christian of them now, is it? <laughs> Cut the crap, Randy. This is business, and you know that. Yeah? What do you know about my business? I see how you conduct business. 
You know shit about what I do. Fuck this. I'm hungry. Get a burger. I have no idea the pressure I'm under to fill all these fucking orders. I've got whiny rich people riding my ass all day. About their precious goddamn stoves. I got no help. What I do have ain't worth shit. I want to help you. What is it you want from me? I want you to just stop riding my ass all the time. Or everybody just back the fuck off for a minute. What the hell's wrong with you? Where have you been? I've been calling and calling. Don't you have your cell phone on you? I think I lost it. Oh, wait, wait, here. Here it is. This isn't funny, David. Follow me. Who's that? It's a blog about our friend, Mr. Vincent Randolph Panada. I printed it out for you. Go ahead and read some of it. 154 pages of very pissed off people. Some of them mad enough to kill him. He can't be serious. People trusted him with their family heirlooms. Their stoves represented irreplaceable memories to them. He couldn't give a crap. He even blogged on it himself. He gets off on taunting them. Apparently, the Kansas State Attorney General's office called him. They've been sending Randy letters and notices. They just ignores them. He thinks that Randy's going to dissolve his business. David, if he does that, we're responsible for that loan. What are we going to do? You're going to go down there and confront him. OK. But you're going with me. I'll meet you there tomorrow at noon. to you for a moment, Pastor. Can we do it later? I, I need to meet Carl at noon. It's real important. Oh, OK. Come in. OK, shut the door, Chuck. Hey, I'm going to the hardware store to pick up some shit. Let's see lazy cocksuckers get something done by the time I'm back, huh? You haven't paid us in weeks. We'll get something done when you pony up, you cheap fuck. You got a roof over your head, don't you? Place to sleep. Matter of fact, I don't think I've seen a rent check from either one of you motherfuckers. And ain't nobody gonna rent to two felons who done time for rape and murder. Fuck you, you're not so clean. You're right, but I ain't never been dumb enough to get caught. Who the fuck are you calling dumb? You will someday. Trust me. Yeah, you better hope not. I'm the only boss who put up with your shit. Hey, we ain't your fucking slave. I want you two faggots gone by the time I get back. I raised her since she was eight. She was my sister's kid. Well, one weekend she asked me to watch her. She said she was going to go see a concert in Wichita. She never came home. I was sick to my stomach. I thought she'd been kidnapped. Then she calls about a week later and says she can't handle raising a kid. Well, Ruthie took it real hard. You know, she never quite got over being abandoned by her own mother.
Well, I think she's on drugs. At least that's what we've heard. Well, I don't believe it. You know how people like to gossip. Oh, don't be naive, Barbara. We've got to get her in a rehab program. She doesn't need rehab, Chuck. She needs Christ. Right, David? Well, I'd have to talk to her. She's in the car. I'll go get her. I, uh, I've got to meet Carl in a few minutes. <sighs> this is Ruthie. Ruth. She didn't get home till 2 a.m. I don't think she slept a wink. Barbara, Chuck, could I speak to Ruth alone for a moment? No, I want to stay. I insist. Come on, Barb, we're going. Still tweaking? The fuck would you know? I want to tell you something that I don't tell many people, especially people like your aunt, because I want to help you. I've been where you are. I've probably done everything you have, maybe even more. You're fucking with me. Do I look like I'm fucking with you? Come on, David. Feels like a lifetime ago. I started using when I was in junior high. My high school years, total blur. My family gave up on me, most of my friends too. I was a total lost cause. <laughs> I even spent a little time in a loony bin. I told them I wasn't crazy. I was just wasted since the seventh grade. So what did you do? I accepted Christ. I devoted my life to him. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I lost track of time. You promised, David. How could you forget? I didn't forget. Something came up. Can we, can we make it in an hour? No. I want you here right now. Half an hour. All right? I'll, I'll be there in half an hour. Now, goddammit! Carla. Carlo, you there? <sighs> Randy? Randy? Randy ain't here. Where is he? I need to talk to him about something very important. We got a visitor. I just need to talk to Randy. I told you he ain't here. Maybe there's something that we can help you with. I know, I said 30 minutes, it took a lot longer than I thought, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I'm headed to you right now, and I hope you're still there. I love you.
Carla? It was a boy. We got every cut for miles around working on this case. We'll find them. Don't you worry? What about Randy? Or Vinny, or whatever the fuck his name is? Well, he had an alibi and it checked out. Don't be so sure. He's a pathological liar. Do you mind? Can I go see my wife now? Sure. to leave. But I want to stay with you. I don't want you to. But you shouldn't be alone tonight. I'm not talking about tonight. I'm talking about forever. And I never will. Now please go. Going somewhere? Oh, Christ, David. You scare me. Listen, uh, I just want to let you know how shitty I feel about Carla. She's gonna be okay? Carla's gonna be fine. But our baby died. do if I was you. Fucking hunt those animals down and kill them with my bare hands. You okay, man? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be with Carla? I asked you a question. A question what? What question? I asked you very nicely. If you're going somewhere. I haven't really decided yet. Liar. Look, man. I mean, what happened here affected me too, you know? I, I don't know if I could stay in the building. You planned the whole thing. What? David, no. See, there you go lying again. David, I'm not lying. Man. Shut the fuck up! All right, just shut the fuck up! Okay, all right. Now, from this point forward, you're gonna be honest with me about everything. Okay. 
You knew they were gonna rape her, didn't you? No. No, dude. No. I'm sure you did. No, I swear to you. I thought I told you to stop with the fucking lies! <laughs> I am really disappointed in you. Strongest shit you got lying around, a little weed? Christ, I graduated from this pussy plant before I popped my first zit. What the fuck? It's not perfect, but I'm not done. What are you doing? Making you pay for your sins. David, come on. I'm hurting bad here. Just cut me loose. Don't be such a pussy. What, what do you want from me? Well, for starters, you could admit that you knew Carla was going to get raped. If I tell you I knew that, I'd be lying. I'll do it if that's what you want. I know you knew. I want to hear you say it. If I say it, what are you going to do? You going to kill me? You're already dead. At least on the inside, just like me. Don't do this. Come on! Don't do this, David. You're a Christian. Don't do this. devoted my entire life to saving souls. What did it get me? And, and save me. Save yourself. <laughs> Come on. Save me! Come on! Please. Christ, you're such a pain in the ass. Oh. Consider yourself baptized. The Bible says you're supposed to be submerged in water, but you know, the Catholics, they do it all the time. They get away with it, so I figure we'll be okay, right?
one down. Thanks for the cerveza. It's about time you woke up. You've been out for hours. I thought you were stronger than that. They're only nails. I stepped on one as a kid, didn't hurt much. Please, please. I won't, I won't tell anyone. Christ, you were so transparent. I can't believe you duped me. People like you live your life fucking over everybody and getting away with it. I'm gonna enjoy watching you suffer. Hell. I'll suffer. Hell. <laughs> Sorry to break the news to you, buddy. This is all there is. There ain't a god in heaven that would allow the shit that goes on down here. Free will. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> All spiritual now. Actually, I kind of like your old philosophy. What was it? What goes around comes around? Wasn't that it? I was wrong. <sighs> Too late. You already converted me. Help. Fanny! Help me! Help me! Help me! Marlena Salguero, I came to pick up my stove. Where is Vinny? You mean Randy? Randy, yes. He skipped town. What? But his truck is parked outside. I know. He, he didn't want to be tracked down. He's running from a pile of lawsuits a mile high. Oh. Can I get my stove? I, I brought a truck. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. See, I'm the owner of the building, and I have to put a freeze on anything going in or out. It's the law. If I gave you someone else's stove, well, I could be sued. That's ridiculous. Mine is one of a kind. I can describe it in detail. It's dark blue, has four burners, a grill with a porcelain cover, round window. And it's missing a kick plate. Is that specific enough for you? It's not here. I'm positive about that. If you don't mind, I want to no, look around I'm, anyway. I'm you, I can't let you in. I'll call the police if you persist. Call him, I don't care. Is that blood on your cheek? No. Well, you know you don't look. It's dirt. I'm sure Randy left this place in a filthy mess. <laughs> Who called out before when I was pounding on the door? Me. I tripped on something. There's so much junk in this place, you can't even turn around. I don't believe you. What's going on here? I told you already. There's my stove! Oh. 
for you. Vinny? Are you in here? I'm going to look around, and I want that you walk with me. Upstairs. Take the tape off. <laughs> Take the tape off! <clears throat> What's going on here? I don't understand. Look at me neither. He's nuts. You gotta shoot him. Where's my stove? I'll give it to him. How could you do that? I don't know. I'm a fucking bastard, okay? Shoot him. What's your story, Marlena? How'd he con you? Shut up, you. For Christ's sake, fucking shoot him, please! Yeah. Go ahead, shoot me. If you want that sin on your soul for all eternity. It was all lies. Wasn't it, Vinny? Yes, I told you. We're you both fucking nuts. We're talking about a stove here. And the kick plate. You told me they were so hard to find. <laughs> and I believe you. You mean all those over there? <laughs> no! You gotta get me out of here. Look at you are. Oh. Oh, my hands. There's a hammer. Right there. Just do it. I can't just leave you. This town's crawling with cops. They'll see the smoke. How will you explain? I'll go up with something. I always do. Were you really gonna kill me? I 
could never kill anybody. Oh my God. I'm going to hell. No. If there's a God, he'll forgive you. How do you know? Because you saved me. Excuse me? Yes? I need to share something with you about how your husband helped me. Uh, okay. Could you stop here just a moment? I want you to give him this. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Whatever you wish. Thank you, Detective. Randy, for God has not destined us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up one another, just as you also are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5, 9 through 11, with hope. Carla.